hey guys it's your boy and welcome back to my channel i am hopping right into this video because it's gonna be a long process because i don't really know what i'm doing but yeah i'm starting off with my eyebrows because that's the one thing i actually know how to do so yeah i'm going in with my spoolie i was gonna use my elf instant eyebrow pencil but it broke as you can see and i was so mad about that because that's my favorite but if i don't use that i usually go on with this one which is my la colors auto eyeliner right here you see me outlining outlining my eyebrows and the bottom part that i'm gonna go to the top and i love doing eyebrows now because i've been practicing for like a year and a half just to do eyebrows alone like in quarantine i was so bored and i didn't know what to do so i've been trying to practice doing eyebrows and i mastered it now i mastered a couple like a year ago probably but yeah this looks so good and i'm going in and i'm shading everything good and i don't like my eyebrows too dark so i try to really not like press on the pencil too much but yeah everything will be linked in the description that i will be using in this video so if you guys want to check it out just get into it but yeah i have all my supplies that i need to do this video that was in the bag in the beginning because i bought everything i needed to learn how to do makeup and so i'm giving this a shot this is probably my second time doing it but yeah for my eyebrows it looks it looks good i'm going in i'm making sure everything's even so far it looks okay so i'm going on my spoolie to do the other one and you know i'm one of my eyebrows that one that i'm doing right now is actually naturally arched so i try not to make it too high up because it's going to be arched anyways so yeah i'm shading that in making sure everything is nice and correct and i'm doing the front the front is very important because i feel like it just give it that effect it could just be me but you know yeah i don't like how it looks now because i feel like the right one is a little bulkier than my left one like, do y'all see what I mean? Like, y'all probably don't see it, but in that moment, there was a difference. But, yeah, I'm trying to go in, make sure everything's correct, make sure it's the same shape, size. And that's the thing with eyebrows, y'all. Like, sometimes it could come out bomb as hell, and the other times it's just, like, it's a fail. So, like, that's why I was nervous for this, nervous for this video, because I know that I could do eyebrows. But, like, you gotta catch me on a good day. Maybe come out different every day. But, see, right now, I'm not really fond of it right now, so, like, I'm trying to take out some at the bottom so when i do conceal everything is perfect and lined up right now y'all i'm just trying to be pleased like that's why you see me doing all this extra stuff like i'm just trying to be cool with it like if i don't like it then i'm not gonna go on my concealer because once you do the concealer i feel like you could correct stuff but like you can't reverse the process so i like to make sure it's perfect before i go in with the concealer so right here it's kind of cool yeah i feel like i came to a point where i like it but i realized the right one in the front it was a little thin like it wasn't it wasn't dark enough so that's why i'm going in putting a little couple strokes in it but ayo on the strokes <laughs> but yeah so that's pretty much it y'all bear with me for this video because like i said this is my second time but i'm going on my concealer that's actually my honey beige concealer and that's in that's the la colors i believe yeah that's the la colors concealer and i have that in honey beige and i've been using this one concealer for a while now and i actually can't find the same exact one again do they not sell it anymore because i've been looking but yeah i'm concealing the bottom of my brows making sure that's good i like to use the brush and right here as you can see i paused because i remember watching this makeup video and the girl used foundation on the top of the brows and then they only conceal the bottom so i was like mm, this is the perfect video to just try it out and do that so i'm just concealing the bottom of my eyebrows at this point and later on i'm gonna use my foundation to the top I feel like that was a good idea too because that it did came out good and I'm gonna have to put foundation on my face anyways. But here we are just making sure everything is good and perfect and tech. I'm going back in my pencil again. I tell y'all I'm never satisfied like it gotta be perfect. But yeah so far I feel like I did a really good job. Shout out to me. Yeah but your girl did that. They look really good so far and we ain't even done. But yeah so now... I'm wrapping up and I'm going in with my foundation and I actually got this from MAC. This was the most expensive thing with all the supplies I got. But yeah, 
this is in the shade NC45. And yeah, I went there and I tried to let them find off my nature color. And they told me that this is a perfect fit for me. So I just, I went online and I bought it. But yeah, I'm doing the top of my brow like I told you I would do. And it looks good in the end. Like, it looks natural. That's me doing my little dance. But yeah, it looks natural. And that's the look I was going for. But I'm doing the other side. And yeah, I feel like it really came out good. Like, I feel like I really did that. Yeah, I really did. But yeah, I'm so hyped for this video. But I'm scared because I really hope everything turned out good. But yes, yeah, so now I'm blending it in a little bit. And hey, hey. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, I'm using my concealer again to conceal the bottom. Because I realize when people do that, like, they try to make the concealer really bright. My concealer is really, like... It's my exact shade. I don't know if that's that should be right, but like I mostly do eyebrows. But I'm going on my primer, and I'm using the Maybelline Master Prime. This is the hydrate. This is the hydrate one because you know you're only supposed to use a primer that goes with your skin. So if you have dry, if you have dry skin, then you need to use like a hydration primer. And if you have like a oily skin, that's something different. But yeah. I'm going up my primer and I'm doing it on my face. I really hate using different products on my face because I'm all on skincare. Right there, I didn't know what the fuck to do next. So, yeah. So, I decided that I'm going to make... I'm going to go with the foundation next. And I was trying to dry my face, y'all, because, yeah. I just feel like it was too wet to put on. But I realized, like, isn't that the whole point of the primer? But, anyways, yeah. I'm going up my foundation. And I'm doing a little, little tap motion to blend it in with a big brush and yeah this is my exact shade i think and i love that so when you get in your foundation make sure it matches your skin girl period but yeah i'm blending it in blending everything right you got to get over the eye because you know you know girl make sure you get under your eyes too because them bags are gonna be something different but get in your neck because you don't want your foundation to not match your neck because that's when you're taking pictures of your face white and then your neck black you don't want that so period hey hey <laughs> Anyways, so concealing now, y'all, and I'm concealing under my eye because that's what I seen in this video that I watched. I watched so many videos, so, like, if it looks like I know what I'm doing, it's because I watched enough videos to know. But, yeah, I'm doing upper lip, and right there, I see everyone do that, so I'm guessing that's something you're supposed to do. Down the nose, and, yeah, I'm really running out of fun eye concealer. I really need another one, and I'm going with this fun, too. I got this one from Shein. And I'm like doing it in a tap it motion because I heard like you're not supposed to rub it out, you're supposed to like tap it in, you know. So I, I was trying to do that going in an upwards motion because I think that's what you're supposed to be doing. I could be wrong, but <laughs> yeah, I'm going in an upwards motion and I'm like just tapping it. I did the nose last, I'm tapping that in. So far, it really looks like I know what I'm doing, like I'm, I'm in shock right now, but yes. I'm just tapping it in once again, and hey, hey, okay, I look good, but yes, so anyways, I'm going, yeah, I was trying to figure out if I should contour or do powder first, because I don't know, I never really did contour before, so I don't know, like, what I'm doing with the contour, I feel like that's the one thing, like, I really don't know what to do with, but I didn't know, I decided to just use the powder last, but this point yeah i don't know what i'm doing like i'm just trying different things i see and i didn't even know what to do with this contour i feel like i should have just left that whole thing to the pros because i didn't know what i was doing and yeah so i did my nose i did a little piece under because i see this girl on tiktok and she she did like that and i love the finishing look but uh, obviously mine is not gonna come out like that this is where I don't know if I should blend it out or not, so I was a little confused, but I was like, um, okay, let's do that. I'm doing my cheeks. This part, I really didn't know what I was doing. Like, I was trying to, like, blend it out, then I seen the, but I didn't know what to do, y'all. Like, if you know any tips and tricks to contour, please let me know or refer me to a video so I could watch that because I didn't know what I was doing. I was using my True Complexion Contour Palette, by the way. I got this on Amazon. As I said, everything will be linked. But yeah, I don't know what I was doing, so I was like, you know what, girl, just know what the powder is. So I did the powder, and I'm putting a little bit on my hand because this powder is really could be extremely white depending on how you use it. So I was only trying to use a little bit. That's why I put it on my hand. See what I mean? Look at this right here. No, 
so I don't want that white look like people make be looking white as hell and I just hate seeing that so I didn't want that but I'm just using the powder in the same places I use my concealer I feel like that's how you supposed to do it at least based on the video I watched but yeah I'm using it in the same places so I'm like I'm kind of like blending it in you see I'm going down my nose with everything and this is the airspun loose face powder y'all I seen a lot of bad reviews on this powder I heard it's something related to cancer like girl I don't even know but I feel like I didn't know my sh what shade to get so I feel like this is for any complexion but I finished with this powder and I'm going in with a darker powder now just to even everything out as I said I don't want that white look because that's just that's just not it at all so i'm trying to like even everything out in the places that i didn't use the translucent whatever you call that father and yeah here i'm just trying to figure out how i feel about it and now i'm going in with blush at least i thought i was but baby it was not giving me blush at all i like my blush red well based on what i seen like the red look is what i like to see and that wasn't working, so my dumb ass went in with eyeshadow like a fucking idiot. But guess what, though? Baby, it turned out good, okay? So, yeah, I'm going... See, I'm laughing at myself right now because I'm saying, like, baby, this is dumb as hell. But, like, it came out how I wanted to, so I don't care. But, yeah, I'm going in with this red eyeshadow. Um, I'm just tapping it in right now just to give it that, you know, red cheeks look. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, they just don't. But, baby, this is how it's looking, and... That's the look I was going for, but don't mind me, y'all. I'm going to get, like, a better blush, I, I promise, but, yeah. I was just experimenting at this point, but it came out good. It came out bomb. I feel like this is what made the look really just pull the shit together, okay? So, I'm just trying to even everything out at this point and brushing it into my skin. And I'm just admiring myself because, baby back to the highlight now i love highlight it's like the second thing i love about makeup so i'm trying to use this highlight for my true complexion palette but i did not like how this was turning out i just wasn't seeing it and i like when my highlight is visible like i like when you can see it and i was not seeing it at all so i was like yeah what's going on but i remember that i have a lot of other highlights so i decided to try another one of those actually and this one wasn't bad i probably tried like three but y'all yeah, only see two I try like three of so you can see that on my nose. It turned out good, period. Okay, so the eyeshadow I put a little over my eye, just because why not? <laughs> I think it's the same one I used on my cheeks that I put over my eye. But yeah, I'm looking at myself like you know you that bitch. I know, but yeah, so I'm using it over my eye and I look good right there. And my other favorite thing is my lips, guys. And I was just outlining my lips with like this brown pencil and the white and the lip gloss combo, you know. If you don't got that in, what you do? Because I feel like that's the best combo. Like, I'm just mad that my brown lip liner was not as bright or dark. It wasn't really showing, but yeah, that would have came out good. But your girl, yeah, no, my lips look good regardless. So right here, I'm just trying to make sure my lips look even because you know some people, their lips be looking slanted. Like I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about, but they look, their lips be looking slanted. So I was trying to make sure that mine looked right. Hey, that bitch, period. So now we're going to my lashes. I did this part off camera because it was not coming out right. But I love these lashes from Amazon and y'all should get them. But yeah, it was a mess. Like the glue was all under my eyes and everything. So I was really just trying to like make sure that the glue wasn't showing because it was it was too much was going on with the lashes y'all that's why i did off camera but i feel like it really pulled the look together and it came out super super cute and i'm just blending everything in and make sure no glue is showing i'm going back in with my highlighter and showing y'all close up but yeah this is actually the finishing look i'm just making finishing touches putting lip gloss on all that extra stuff but i loved it do you guys see that like this don't look like a beginner look like this look good this look good as fuck that bitch <laughs> but anyways yeah i love this to look and i'm feeling myself right here because baby why not yeah 10 out of 10 a cute face ass back jump in my key hey but yeah i hope you guys love this video i know i was supposed to go with my setting spray i actually forgot but overall this still came out bomb as hell everything is linked in the description once again go get your stuff but yeah hope you guys like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye